What's up, guys? All right, and uh, it's time again. It's time. Black Panther is up on the slate, and uh, I saw it last night, and I got a couple things I want to say about it. So uh, here we are, back again for another one. Uh, I just want to start off with saying, bravo, bravo. It was good. It was good. Um, it wasn't this terrible film that just needs to go away and I'm just so distraught with it. Kind of like I've been with other films in the past, uh, other uh, superhero films that I won't get into. But um, I will start off with saying this was a good one. I mean, it was a good film. It was uh, passable, does the job. Uh, and I had a fun time at the movies last night. Entertaining, fun, had a good time. It did what it what it should do. Did what it should have done, what these types of films are supposed to do, what they're geared for, a superhero action flick. You know, a fun, uh, a fun flick, you know, fun time with the movie, so good, good. Um, Bravo, Ryan Coogler. Uh, Coogler being um, the uh, the director of Creed and Fruitvale Station. Um, you could see some of the things that he was doing, um, like I, some of his trademarks, uh, so to speak. Pardon the noise. I'm in the mall here. Um, there's a lot of people around me, but um, yeah, um, yeah, he was. Uh, he had a hand in all aspects. He and another guy helped, um, uh, uh, they wrote the script, and it was a good job. Good job. Um, so that's the, so that's the beginning. That's how it all kind of, that's how we'll start everything. Uh, let's see. Um, Killmonger, he's the villain, played by the star of Creed, who worked with, with um, uh, Ryan Coogler, Michael B. Jordan. He's the he's the villain in this film. Uh, he's uh, he's pretty angry about some things, and he does a pretty good job as the villain. I will say though, um, had I been Coogler, I would have told him to um, slow down a bit and enunciate more, and to really drive home the point as to why he's angry and to why he wants to um, do the things that he does um, because he he has a really good reason to feel the way that he's feeling and um, overall it was a good effort by Marvel but I, I'm really like I've come to the point now where I'm uh, I'm really kind of feeling like I'm shooting too high like setting the mark too high up with these Marvel villains because it's just, it's like, it, it, it's like Marvel is like really missing the, missing the mark here with the villains. And uh, they've only gotten it right with Loki, uh, the brother of Thor. Um, he, I mean like, he was good, Killmonger, um, Jordan or, or the Golden Jaguar, you know what we're gonna call him. He was good, but, um, Overall, it was an opportunity missed. Like they could have created, created another Loki, like another, another chain, another arm in the Marvel Cinematic Universe to really stir things up, to really get this going. That you know, like this is a thorough, a thoroughly woven and fleshed out and developed world that we're in now. Uh, it kind of. It kind of misses the mark in that regard. I mean, like it does a good job in um, telling this this one particular story and um, and really fleshing this this story out. But overall, in the overall arc of the MCU, I just really wanted like like another uh, another Loki, another shot at like this is this could have been like man, yeah, we're like we're really living in this in this in this thoroughly fleshed out world it's, it's awesome it's awesome um, so I mean like so it was an opportunity missed in that regard but it was still good nonetheless Michael B. Jordan did a good job Chadwick Boseman like I'm really happy um, of uh, of him and his capture of the African 
accent and the world and being this 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 new king leader of uh, Wakanda. Uh, Wakanda being where they uh, where they control and operate all of the vibranium, the metal that you saw in one of the previous Avenger films. Um, uh, uh, the one with the big robot, Ultron, Vibranium, they were in Wakanda. Uh, you know, um, that's where they got it from. But anyways, um, overall it was a good effort. Lupita Nyong'o, good job, good job. Um, couldn't take my eyes off of her. She was good as always. Um, I just felt like the 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 entire film, as good as it was, kind of kept me at bay for the most part. Like I wasn't in the trenches with everyone, you know, because because this story is so well woven and it tugs at the heartstrings and just really gets me going because I'm there, I'm right there with them, really eager to fight these battles with them and to and to truly engage with the characters because it's just so well woven and so well done and the stories come together and it's just you know like the greatest things in sliced bread which is what Rotten Tomatoes is making it out to be now and there's a whole political backlash that's you know spawned from how things are now and you know it's just kind of spiraling now because of that but but aside from the politics um, all of that is why why I don't agree with the you know the super high score that it's gotten but it's not a terrible film you know nonetheless it's still the great film it does its job as a really well done engaging action flick and that was good about it so for that you know, I'm happy for it. Happy for Ryan Coogler and Chabot Boseman. And, um, and I'm excited about, you know, this, this next step in, in the cinematic universe uh, within the world of Marvel. So it should be good to see uh, what happens next in Infinity War, which is the next Avengers movie, upon which uh, this new character that we've all been um, introduced to now known as the Black Panther is all well woven throughout I could go into depth more but um, I guess you'll have to read the review for that so I will see you guys then and take care